The paint system on the boat is a epoxy coating, an epoxy resin. And what I've been doing is where it's failing, as you can see here, uh, here, um, and uh, anyway, it's rusty basically. Um, been going over with a wire brush, um, peeling back until we get to clean metal, and then painting it over with a rust primer. Uh, the rust primer is a temporary measure uh, purely because what I need to do is I just want to arrest any further rust. In the long run, this is all going to have to be stripped back and painted professionally. And also, anywhere there's thin metal, for example, there's a hole there and there's marks here, um, they will have to be welded back in place. And any of these that I think need to be moved or go to a better place, etc. Um, just a reworking of that, but that's more of a long-term plan. Well, it's a bright sunny day. I'm just ploughing on through this and uh, um, just peeling through layers of um, epoxy coating or whatever coating this is. Getting down to bare metal and now we will paint it. Well, it's evening time now, and uh, we've just done all of that scraping. Um, most of the wire, most of it is taken off by a wire brush, and um, as I say, it's just temporary. Um, but it'll stop it rusting further. I, as you look down further on the boat, you can see um, the kind of rust that we're dealing with. It seems to have been accelerated by the sea, so going across the channel. Seem to have given it a bit of a, a going over. Um, all it does for me is make me want to go to a boatyard, take it out of the water, and just have the whole thing sandblasted back. Because whatever is, whatever is the um, epoxy resin system that they used at the time. It's actually really thick coating, and as a consequence, you lose all the patina. Um, you don't see any of the rivets, and as I'm peeling back these layers, you get down to the rivets, and the rivets are amazing. Uh, there may be good reason for that, and maybe it's to do with being waterproof. I don't know, um, but um, yeah, I, I love the fact that the boat is not perfect; that it has huge imperfections. And you can see the line of it there. Just up there. You can see how it just... It, it's old. It's over 110 years old. And it's just wonky all over the place. And I love it. I would never want to lose that. So I'd love to just sandblast the whole lot. Anywhere that needs to be repaired, just get it repaired. But don't, don't interfere with the overall look of the boat. And, don't lose the fact that it's actually 110 years old. Anyway, um, it's a blue life belt that uh, was given to me by uh, Urien and Nico and Thomas has proved to be extremely useful.
This is my um, Russian made um, drill. Um, you can see it's, uh, it's in very good condition. I bought it for 15 pounds uh, about six years ago and all it's ever done is do this, is scrape rust. So uh, it continues to do its job uh, brilliantly. Wonderful thing about it is it's only 500 watts and the solar panels, which are up here, are rated about 700. So um, it's all free power from the sun, which is up there. Right, let's get going. One of the things to note is I'm on a boat, which is a floating platform, and it likes to do that, float away. Well, I think it's finally dead. I wonder though, can I repair it? Hmm. Might just get a screwdriver and have a look at it before I... It's dead. <laughs> 